is Peter Yan underestimating the skills of Al Jermaine Sterling. Now, how I feel is with the little memes and the little stuff, I mean, I guess he's trying to promote the fight, you know. I mean, he did cheat. I mean, I don't think he did it on purpose, but he fouled him. He fouled him at the end. He fouled him when he was close to winning the fight. He was whipping his ass from from round two on up to like the, the fourth or fifth round. And he, he made a, a, a poor mistake of kneeing the ground of the opponent. You know, he he fouled them. Now he has to pay for it. Now he has to deal with it. It's been a, a whole year since they fought. Since they last fought, it's been a year. So now he, he's he been waiting for that goal. Now the question is, what 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 would happen if Aljamain Sterling starches him? What would happen? Now that would be funny. I'm going to be real. That would be hilarious. If Aljo comes out, whoop his ass, starches him, chokes him out, finish him, and probably like the first or second round. That would be crazy. Because one thing about Peter Yan, he's a slow starter. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say a slow starter. He's like a computer. He he he, he uses everything to process information. He stores all the information he needs to know. And then he starts to pick it up in like the second round, the third round. He's willing to give up that first round, but is that can that be a blessing or a curse to him? That's the most important thing. Can that be a blessing or a curse to him? Now, on the other hand, Aljamain Sterling, you know, after him, I don't. I, I hope he has his head on straight and coming to actually clear all doubt. Leave all doubt in the cage. Leave all doubt about him. And show him that he's the real deal and not no paper champ. I believe he can do it. I believe he has all the skills possessed against him to, to be a good champion. Now he must get across this hurdle named Peter Yarn. And then this whole thing with Peter Yarn cornerman not being able to show up. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he, he was talking about Triple C and... Uh, Sean O'Malley. That would be hilarious. I, I, I personally, personally, he might not need a corner because he's so damn good. He's good. He's good. So, um, yeah, I just feel like I, 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 he's he's pretty good. He's really good. I don't think he'll need no corner, man. But the question is, is his head on straight going into this fight? Is he angry? Is he going to come in there frustrated that he had to wait a whole year to get his hands on Aljo? Is he going to come in there fighting emotional and throw away his game plan? That's the question. That's the most important thing. Is Aljo going to come in there with a chip on the shoulder, having something to prove? Those are things to think about going into this fight. This is a very interesting matchup. This is an interesting fight. This fight... Honestly, I'm more excited about this fight than Alexander Volkanovski and the Korean Zombie. I'm. I think the co-main is really the main event in my eyes. The that's the main event. That's the true main event. Nothing against Alexander Volkanovski. Nothing against Korean Zombie. But I I, I really love Peter Yarn and Aljamain Sterling getting in there for the second time. And it's it's it. All I'm gonna say is this. This fight is between somebody who who has something to pr prove and somebody who who's trying to end all doubt. Those are two of the same things, just in different terms. But somebody is coming there to prove something, and that's Aljo. And Peter Yan is coming in there to make a statement, and that he's the real champ, that he's been his champ the whole time, and that that last fight was a fluke. 